Now Podcast Episode 106. Round of applause, please. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast. If you are new here, if you haven't already looked below, you see the subscribe button isn't pressed. You're wrong. If you look even more below that, you see that comment section isn't fulfilled with your name. Guess what? Even more wrong. Go ahead and fill that out. Guess what, guys? We're on the road to 1 million subscribers. We're trying to get 1 million subscribers by the end of 2024. So you know what that means. Right now, if you have a cell phone in your hand, if you have a pigeon outside, you attach a note to that pigeon, you send it to your friend. If you have a phone, you hit that share button, you send it to your group message. We're expanding the You Should Know podcast family to a million subscribers by the end of the year. We have the best fan base in the world. We have the best support team in the world. We have the best Patreon members, the best Discord members, the best merch buyers, the best audio listeners if you're on audio go ahead and rate that five stars or four and a half point five times three long division is hard we love you guys so much let's get to one million subscribers by the end of the year we appreciate you we love you now on to the rest of the episode the you should know podcast we got co-host cam back in the studio a round of applause for co-host cam Oh, she okay. got me working. Who is she? That's not a song. Who is she? Olivia. Oh, 100% Olivia. You just made that song up in your head. It's my wife and that's not a real thing. Speaking of head. <laughs> your head. Your skull. It's large. I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of your skull. Thank you. Less of a fan what's inside of it. It's, it's, like, it's like a pinball machine. That's called ADHD. Well, let's not bring mental illness what? into it. <laughs> let's not serious this up. Disease. <laughs> I think I have worse than you. Ah, uh, <laughs> yin and yang. But let's. I have a. I have a, a question for you. Okay. Because and I never brought this up because it was a personal thing that happened with me. Why am I sweating already? <laughs> you, I get you wet. You do. You get me often wet. I wet often. In the body. Multiple places. Sweat from the pores. Webbing. Hello. I think my pores are clogged. From grease and bad food? Because or? I smelled my sweat the other day. It was that of an onion. It was that of a McDouble chicken. It was that of a half marathon runner, no deodorant. That's, that's what you smelled like. You smelled like a sweatsuit. Dude, have you ever gone outside? You're enjoying your day. You're having a fantastic day. You've gone outside. You put your arm on that steering wheel about six hours into your day, and you've been like, I didn't deodorize today. Oh, 100%. Oh, my God. I'll one-up you. I went into Zara the other day, tried on some garments. Guy next to me, I could see through his curtain. Wasn't being a peeping Tom, I promise. You were hand taking on, a whiff. Right hand on the bottom. He didn't close all the way. I could see his back, right? His back was exposed. He's shirtless, okay? Yeah, yeah. I step into my thing. I swear to God. <laughs> If I was blindfolded, I would have thought I was inside of a Burger King kitchen. He smelled awful. Like, I love him to death. Don't know him. I, I actually, I don't know if I love him, but I love everybody. He smelled horrible. Bad. Oh, my like God. Like a horror bad, scene. No, bad is not bad. Is, bad is giving him grace. Okay. It was rough. I, but you, So you've had the opportunity to smell yourself on accident. Hand on wheel. It's about four inches. Mm-hmm. It, oh, yeah. It's happened. Panic mode. It's happened. Oh, my God. Because I went back to Austin this weekend. You did? Uh, old friends hit me up and said, hey, we're at Top Golf. Come to Top Golf. I said, I'll go to Top Golf. I've been out all day with my family, though, so I was already outside. I was like, I'm going to just veto this car over to Top Golf. I was driving my car to Top Golf. I smelled a weave. And, I, and then I immediately realized, God bless you, never do it again. <laughs> and you did it, now you're dead. <laughs> so, so God takes his blessing away. <laughs> so I was doing that, took, took a whiff on Accidente. I realized, didn't deodorize today. I had to go into Top Golf with old friends. They smelled me. Would you rather not deodorize or not brush your teeth? Oh my God. Like to go a whole day. You have a whole Easy. A whole day. Easy. I'm not Neither one of those is easy. Oh, easy. Easy option for me. You can go a long time without brushing your teeth without reaping the uh, repercussions of that. Deodorant, that's instant. 30 minutes you're gonna smell Peyton. The Oh my god. Uh, okay, say let's say someone dude, Peyton, oh my god, can I get a picture? And you go, yeah, you can. And they're like, oh, and they just smell your breath. But there's alternatives to that piece of, piece of gum. You're not putting in a gum mint. if you didn't know. No, no, no. I'm a habitual gum chewer. I chew gum often. You chew gum often. I used to use that's it as- That's like saying I collect coins. That's a bold face lie. How do you know what I do with my mouth? You know what some things I do with my mouth. You enjoy it. Do, what'd you look at there? Don't look down. I was looking at your hands. No, oh, oh, my hands in your mouth. You, you chew gum, <laughs> every piece of gum you chew. Yeah. That's like me. That's like me going on a run willingly. You don't chew gum anymore. You just absolutely lied to my face. Is there not a, a, a box of gum in my car? 
a pack of gum in oh my, my car. God, you have boxes. Boxes. You buy it by the box now. I don't have. I don't have a pack. You're a gum of, reviewer. I don't have a pack of gum in my you car right now. Page. I don't you have. You gums. You're a gum reviewer. You have Trident. You have five. You have it all. Orbit. You're a gum reviewer. I'm not gonna lie. The propaganda on five gum worked as a kid. Oh, dude. Talk about sick ass commercials. Fan, that the one, electric. Oh my god. Oh my god. god. They're vibrating a, the whole thing. I literally used to watch it. And I'd be like. Oh yeah. I remember my dad would come home with a five hour energy and a five gum, and I said, "You're ready to." <laughs> So that's 10 hours of energy right there. <laughs> All right, CJ, yeah, CJ, just mute that one. So back to your stench. You smelled yourself. But that's not what I was bringing up. Okay. That, we kind of snowballed a avalanche. It's cold outside. It's not. It's not. It's, it's actually not. really warm. It's a fantastic day. You should see my crack. Smell it if you want. You you need butthole deodorant. I do. I do. I've, I've, no, no, you have ball sack deodorant. Yeah, but then I, but I, I, I take a cup. I, I cup up and wipe. I cup up and wipe you on know, the on the t genitalia taint area, and sometimes I'll rub around the sphinct. I'll hit me with the windshield wiper right there on the sphinct. Good morning to you. It wakes you up. So your bare hand often goes on your asshole. Yes, it's my body with creams and lotions. Is that, is that weird that you don't you don't smear uh, ball deodorant on your butt a is little bit? Is that you being proactive for the day, or is that a slight sense of enjoyment? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Two things can be true at one time. You can wake yourself up. You can give yourself a good good morning kiss. <laughs> good morning. Here you go. You're like good morning. <laughs> oh, I, I, yikes! I wanted to start this podcast by saying something that, that, that happened with you. Yes, that I never said. brought up. Okay, because yes. it was personal and I was enjoying it to myself. ADHD. I, went I lit candles when I went home. It was that big of a moment. We're around each other all the time. All the time. Do you remember back in February, Valentine's Day around there, the day before Valentine's Day, actually, I accidentally ran into you at a Target. You did. And it was yes. the first time that that has happened yeah, in it, years that yeah. we accidentally run into each that other. That was fun. I was, buying, I was buying you flowers. And I saw you from across the store, and I was like, I get it. You look sexy as hell. I was like, he's a sexy ass white man. But I, that's the end of that, though. Why you got me blushing? You got me blushing. What you like me? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. That kind of felt good here. I don't know if my cheeks won't close. Because you were so big. You were so big, and you, you like, took up that area. I was like, he, you were standing out. So I demanded space. You, I, you almost demanded a lot out of me. I almost ran over to you. What is happening? What's happening right now? Why am I, why am I giddy? We can cut the cameras if you want. Do I get a smooch? Like... Yeah, I'm, I'm literally. Am I I'm, making you blush? You're making me feel good. I'm getting some blood flow. What the fuck is happening? I swear to God, I'm not trying to. Yeah, I don't know. All right. Well, it's your turn now. I get. Uh, Honestly, as a friend, mm -hmm. is there any? Is there ever a time, right, when you just see me living life? You see me doing something, right? Six out of seven days. No, genuinely. I'm for real asking you. It, no, so am I. Okay, but I'm asking you for specifics. Is there ever a time where you see me doing something and you're like, he looks sexy right now? Literally six out of seven days. Okay, tell me something I've done. Bro, it's, okay, it's so, <laughs> that's a strange way to segue, but I mean this in, it, it, I could, I could have, say I had this outfit on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The second it goes to your body, it looks 10 times Okay, better. but not that. I'm talking about not, unintentionally sexy. Am I ever unintentionally sexy to you? That's a hard sell. Uh, <laughs> I'd say, I, there's a couple things. <laughs> Unin okay, unintentionally sexy, I'd say I'd, your walk creeps me out. I don't like your walk, but outside, oh, I, I'd say- I have scoliosis of the back. In, in, in public, it's the same thing. Like if we're, say we're shopping, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. say we're at the mall, yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of just dissipate from each other. I'm looking at a shoe, you're looking at a sweatsuit, and I turn around, you know, the chain might catch a little glimpse of light. You, you got the beard lined up, especially if it was a Brooks day or day after. Yeah. Sometimes in those moments, I'm like, damn, he's- I get it. Yeah. yeah I, I guess it's the same reaction. I'm like, man, I'm a lucky man. <laughs> I get to go home to that. You can have me if you what want me. What is happening? What are we talking about? What? 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 What, what is this? Where's this going? I'm just, that's that's honestly it. But I did uh, catch you doing something that wasn't too sexy. So you, that was a whole setup. You made me feel good. You pumped my head up. Get it bigger than it is just yeah. to drag me down and drown me. Jesus. That was a little dark. That was too much. Sorry. I went over to your house. Sorry, I'm at your house often. A lot. You okay. always leave trash. <laughs> that's not that's, that's, that's not that's, true. You literally left trash last time. No, I did not. Last yep. yesterday? Yep. What did I leave? Empty DiSorono bottle. I'm supposed to take a, a bottle of liquor that I brought to your house as a gift and take it home with me? The scraps? No, no. I let you drink it. You can put... You took, oh. you took most of it. You did not drink most of that DiSorono bottle. <sighs> 
lie in front of me and Jesus. So we both didn't have four drinks equally. You didn't finish your fourth, but we didn't both pour four for each other. Four and four sounds pretty even to me, buddy. Who was the bartender for the night? Me. You're responsible for where that bottle goes. You saw it was finished. You poured the last, you poured the emptiness of it. Yes? I'll give you that. You throw it away. But you could have at least put it in the chair. Mine? It's warm and I'm wearing gray. Back off. <laughs> okay, sorry. You were the bartender of the night. I was. I should have thrown it away. You should have thrown it I away. I woke up the next morning. It was it was six feet away from my trash can. I was like, why couldn't you just put it in the trash can? But I guess it was my It fault. was your fault. I take it. Yeah, yeah. I take it. Okay. But me, I, me I, not being sexy. Yeah, I, no, but there's actually something I saw you do, and you know what I'm talking about. I saw you being not sexy, and I want an explanation of what the hell you were doing. I don't know. I'm getting nervous. I was at your house for a while. Now, okay. it wasn't yesterday, but a while ago. I won't put a timestamp on it. Okay. And you went to the bathroom for a little bit, but you just kind of disappeared. You didn't tell me where you were going. Okay. And we, we're very close. Mm -hmm. So if you're in a room that's a closed door, I'll just open it up. Mm -hmm. Same that you'll do with me. We don't have that boundary of like knock, knock, you know what I mean? Yeah, we're past yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't knock, knock on that door. Tell me why. <laughs> Cam was in the bathroom, but I heard a lot, a lot of thuds going on. It was just me and Cam in the house. Just like a thud and like a clap. And I said, what is happening in this bathroom? It's just me and Cam in here. I open up the bathroom door. Cam is naked doing a defensive stance in the mirror. Now, you explain to me why you were practicing your defense skills butt naked in a mirror. You tell me why that's happening. And I could have brought it up to you in private. You think? You think that was secrecy? Imagine Cam six seven, big body, in a hey, mirror, big body, butt naked. Imagine that butt naked. Okay. What were you doing? So there's several points that need to be had before you get me just canceled. Okay. First thing, I removed myself from a shower. Okay. okay? I finished the shower. Second thing, this knock knock policy applies on pantries in living rooms. Don't ever open my bathroom door ever again. Why not? Bathroom door. Cam, 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 Cam. Yes or no, when we were in college, did you not go into the bathroom? The bathroom? We shared a bathroom. It wasn't yours. It was ours. If I had to go, I'm going. Cause I was butt naked night. in the shower, yes? In the shower behind a curtain. Okay. I was practicing to be Tony Allen, butt naked, <laughs> trying to be the best defender I can be. And there's no offensive You're player. You're trying to be Pat Bev, butt naked. Okay, in God's honest truth, Okay, I was drying off, butt naked as I am. I'm sitting there just looking. It's good to check yourself, people. Make sure there's no random bruises, no red of the nipple. So then I was just looking at myself and I was like, I'm a long guy. Not in that, I mean, I mean, you're yes, impressive. But stop. It's good. Stop. Girth and length. Girth and length. I was like, that's nice. I took, a, I took a screenshot with my eyes. I took a hot shower. Cold shower, it's a different camera. You're like, where'd he go? I'm like, what the fuck is wake, Come on, dog. Like, wake up. Okay. Honest, God's honest truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was sitting there, and I, it kind of just dawned on me. I realized that, holy shit, we are tall. I have mm -hmm. long limbs. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I was just standing there, and I was like, I was just like hanging, like hanging out. Yeah. Like, like hanging. Yeah. And I just went, that would be pretty intimidating on defense. And that's literally, this shows my mind, my ADHD. And I just randomly went, <laughs> and, I started, and I started spreading, just bald eagle. I was like, <laughs> Just butt naked, yeah. ass about mm, two feet from the ground. I was really trying you're, to get my You're low. You, you, won the, you, you won. See, no one was supposed to see it, one. And two, that was never supposed to be told. So thank you for that. I'm just wondering. I was just asking for an explanation because it did scar me. It made me a little happy, but it did scar me. I'll take that. Thanks for, thanks for telling my one, literally one of my craziest secrets ever. The You Should Know Podcast. This episode of the You Should Know podcast is brought to you by Kleenex Ultra Soft Tissues. Bring me some, bow, bow, bow. Your ally to help tackle your allergy symptoms this season. I'm not sure if you've noticed, it is definitely allergy season. I usually love spring. I do, I love spring a lot. But struggle with allergies, which aren't the most fun. Kleenex Ultra Soft Tissues are hypoallergenic and allergist approved. So you can attack watery eyes and battle runny noses without worrying about irritating your skin. You know I got sensitive skin syndrome, 100%. right? And I have bad allergies. Thanks to Kleenex Ultra Soft Hypoallergenic, I feel fine. <laughs> 
I am obsessed with Kleenex. I love it. You, Cam, I used to get in trouble in elementary school all the time because I would be the kid that would just go up in class and like take all the Kleenexes. It, they're Good so man. just feel them. They're, they're fantastic. So soft. They're so soft. They're great on the nose, great on the eyes. It's fantastic. I love. Kleenex. It's like rubbing your nose with a blanket. I mean, for this allergy season, grab Kleenex and face allergies head on. Now on to the rest of the episode. The you should know podcast. Appreciate that. But how, cool. how was your week, Bubba? How did that, how did oh, it go? Now, now how's how was your naked defensive practicing week? Uh, it was it was fantastic. It was a good week. A lot of people. A lot of people. Hey, I'm doing better. I'm doing better. <laughs> yeah, um, so okay, it's good. Um, it was fantastic week because we did something new. Uh, the Koala Club already saw it, but for a 24-hour stretch, I followed Peyton with our camera, and we produced the first "A Day in the Life" you should know Studios episode one featuring Peyton Harden. That's on the Patreon. If you haven't seen it, boom. If you have seen it, it's pretty cool. It was fun. You said it was very overwhelming because you were followed all day. Yes, and you never experienced that. Yes. However. I thought it was pretty fun being behind the camera. We basically we got to spend a whole day together. It was fun. It was. It cool. didn't make me feel good about myself. Why? Because normally I'm able to suffer in my lifestyle alone, and I don't have to drag anybody into that. Like <laughs> you literally said that like six <laughs> minutes into it, you're like, we we've only gone to the gym. You're already de depressed like me, and I was like. Bro, you're good. Come I could on. I could see Cam's energy level from the start of the day to the end of the day. Yeah. He was like happy, go lucky, Cam. By the end of the day, he was like, "What's I was like, life?" God, I was like, "Is this over yet?" I was like, "God, he's a sad guy." You're like, what's the point of this? Yeah, that was fun. Um, we went to the gym several times. I stepped on a Simtech on my foot. Oh yeah, Cam's the bottom of my foot is obliterated. Cam looks like uh, his, the bottom of his foot looks like a little Thanksgiving turkey neck. Bro, that was it was a strange pain. It was it was pretty bad. Oh my God, turkey necks and chickens. We went to Wingstop this weekend. Oh, I have a working theory, and I said this about bacon a while ago. You did. There you is did. no way yes, we are is. eating wings when we go to wing shops. Yes, you There's are. No, there is no f***ing way. <laughs> yes, there, there is. is. no. Okay, think about it. How many people were in that Wingstop whenever we were there? It was pretty packed. It was like pretty lot. packed in there. There was like 20 to-go orders waiting Exactly, to and everybody up. that was leaving that Wingstop left with a big ass bag. Sack of chicken. It was about 7 p.m. That place has been open since about 11 in the morning. What is that? Eight, eight hours? Was <laughs> yeah. it eight hours eight of hour, openness? Eight hours of chicken. Of chicken. And that's one spot. How many different wing chains are there? There's Puck Airs, there's Wing, wing Daddies, Stop, Wing, wing Stop. Daddies, uh, Buffalo Wild, Wild Wings. There's uh, Wings of Frisco. There's a million. And that's just in this one little area. Go to Idaho, go to Florida, go to Canada. There's wings LA. absolutely everywhere. What, what are we eating? What are we eating? And then they had a special. They're like, get 100 wings during the Super Bowl. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you nuts? What am I eating? Penguin foot? The f what is that? Not we once. Are. Not we once are. in my life. Not once in my in my life have I walked down to the corner store and been like, oh shit, I gotta move around this chicken because there's so many chickens. Never seen a chicken. Never tripped on a chicken. <laughs> I've never tripped on a chicken. My sister owns chickens. And this actually, okay, obviously I don't agree with you because there's a shit ton of chickens. No, there's not. How are you going to say that? There's, what labyrinth? We what? don't live near chicken farms, chicken pastures. Bro, there's a shit ton of chicken. Think about how many eggs there are. Oh, I'm not saying that's real either. All this super. Oh my god! Oh, oh, all, oh my god! No, no, saying, oh, oh my god! No, all these eggs aren't real. No, eggs are not real. all of them. All of this mass-produced food. You're saying all that's authentic from the cooch of a chicken. Are you nuts? Yeah. How do we have that much steak in the world? How do we have that much anything? And there's a lot of animals. How many grocery stores? How many grocery stores are in this metroplex that we live in? Hundreds. S hundreds. How many eggs are in each grocery store? Thousands. Tens of thousands. thousands. How many people are buying these eggs? Every everybody all day. Exactly. All day. And there's like, hey, get the big chicken and birth more. You know what I mean? What chicken all day has their legs up like this and they're just squirting out eggs for us to consume? Are you nuts? Bro, okay. Chickens lay a lot. Oh and there's a lot of chickens. You don't think eggs are real. You think eggs are fake. You I'm not think, saying you I'm, think eggs are CIA planted. I'm saying we're eating government technology. <laughs> it's not even you're making it egg specific. You're thinking that I'm being derogatory towards the 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 race of egg. I'm not. I'm not being derogatory. I'm saying every mass produced food. There is no godly way that we have that much of it. Yes, there, there is. There is no how. We don't live near the farm. Where's the farm? In places where there's where? land. There's some in Texas. Where? 
Not when there's concrete jungle where we live. We're, okay, I've I've been to West Texas before. I've been in the I've been in the wilderness have of you Texas. Been searching for egg farms. No, but I shouldn't have to if there's that many eggs. They 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 are in their own plants, bro. These these okay. You can't fathom the amount of eggs, but you also have not seen. I need to take you to like a chicken, like a manufacturing. There's. Peyton. Oh, you're gonna take me to the chicken coop, Peyton, There's thousands upon. Thousands of chickens. Think about think every egg that we eat. Kay. If we let it do its full process, that's not fully true. Not all eggs become chickens, but majority of those eggs will become more chickens. Chickens are a very quick okay. creature to grow. Okay, okay, to get full cycle. Okay. And start popping okay. out. Okay, so the eggs we eat come from what animal? Chicken. Okay, you go to Wingstop. You can buy 100 wings. So we're killing 100 chickens. Not true. We're killing a lot of chickens. <laughs> Right. You so you're saying the same animal that we're getting the provide we're, we're, that is providing millions of eggs, we're also killing that animal and eating millions of wings. They shit out the eggs when they're done, and then they, we snap their neck. 100. percent Are you nuts? Then where's the new well, eggs no coming from? From the other chickens. <laughs> from the rest of the chickens. Oh, so there's never been a faulty a faulty chicken egg. It, there probably is. They go bad egg. All right, <laughs> and they just they off them. Hey, bad egg, good thigh. Get him in there. Whoosh, get rid of him, bro. It's hard to believe, but you have you have to get have faith. I'm not a blind That's sheep with like you. you. Yeah, no. Oh, bullshit. Don't blind sheep me. You're this guy. If it's not in my hand, if I haven't done my own science fair project on it, I don't believe it. That's who you are. You're not Einstein, but do you believe in bombs? They're real. You're not you're not Quaker Oats. Have you had oatmeal? Yeah, of course you have. Just because you don't do it and it's not tangible and you don't understand it doesn't mean it doesn't work. You're not Grey's Anatomy. You had your wisdom teeth pulled. You had your esophagus burned. That's a very personal thing. You just <laughs> goes, no, no, it's, it's trauma. Just because you haven't done it, you didn't go on that field trip, right? Okay. I've seen a chicken. I my, have too. My, you've seen my sister's chickens. Yeah. The, how many eggs does my sister have? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I'm not hundreds a, each, bro. It's not like it's not like one chicken. How many how many eggs does one chicken make? A lot. Bro. How much is a lot? One one egg, one chicken rather, could probably pop out anywhere from seven to twelve eggs, and they do that in cycles, and they do that for years before they stop. I think chickens. Okay, then where are we getting the wings from? When they're done, you put them on. So the we top wait and seven block. to twelve years. That's that, that doesn't account 12, for how 12, many 12, wings I said, we have. I said seven to twelve years. Yes, I said, you did. I, I heard said, you with both I, my ears. I said you heard wrong with both your ears. I said seven to twelve eggs per chicken. They do it for two to three years. Two to three years is their egg nesting cycle. Then you just <laughs> off with them. There you go, wing stop. A hundred of them all across the world. Thousands of them. Enough for Rick Ross. Oh yeah. No shot to Rick Ross, but oh. I'm sure he loves a good wing. He Pairs owns some wings. Like that. <laughs> Shout out all the pair. No, bro. It's hard to it's hard to put your mind around. But you need to, because oh, it's real life. Also, so you you said something on the way. And we drug them up. Huh? We drug the piss out of these birds. <laughs> oh, come here, chicky. <laughs> Trin. <laughs> Human growth hormone. <laughs> Anabolic steroid. <laughs> now that chicken, instead of its natural cycle, oh, wake up, have a fun chicken day, play some cat and mouse. Now he's waking up at, at three weeks old. <laughs> so exactly what I'm talking about. We're eating fake stuff. It's not it's real, real natural stuff. No, it's, it's not. It's, it's real. Well, I'm pretty it's sure. It's enhanced. We have Elon Musk. We have Elon Musk chickens. We have Cybertruck chickens. Yeah, we have Cybertruck chickens. We have Starlink chicken. We have we have NASA chicken. We have Tesla chicken. SpaceX chicken. That's what we got. We have autopilot chicken. Oh my god, autopilot. You said something in the car that really, really surprised oh me that you god. said. Okay, bro. Cam said autopilot features, self-driving features on cars is not impressive technology. Okay. Don't don't just Yes or no, did you that. say that? I said that. But there's context. I said when you think about it, now being in 2024. Because, okay, look, you're Tesla, right? Yes. Way, way better autopilot technology than my Kia. Okay? I didn't know your Kia had autopilot technology. It does. It has F FSD? F Full self-drive? Only on highways. But that's what I'm saying. So listen, the only, this is what I'm saying. The only thing different. So on, on a highway, mm -hmm. I got the uh, K5 GT. Yeah. There's three things you can do. You can do highway control, lane control, and cruise control. If you do all three of those at the same time, it's going to keep you in the lane. It's going to keep your speed regulated from cars, and it's going to turn curves for you. Now, I said, in, in theory, I was thinking, okay, if, if the Kias can do that, essentially a Tesla, all, the, all they have left to integrate that 
is just adding the map to it. You can't once you add the map to it, your car knows the destination to go to, so it's going to do those three features and just follow a route. You can't compare your jailbroken ass autopilot to my Tesla autopilot. It's not jailbroken. Yes, you do. You plugged in the you plugged in I'm so, plugged you, in so your lock screen can move around. <laughs> I plugged in a USB so my time things the Nike yeah. sign. <laughs> the Nike that shit was so I, fun, I, bro. I, you know, I you what it's sensitive for me sensitive for me huh the only reason i wanted it was to jailbreak it tried for three consecutive days straight all i did was give my mom and dad viruses on their computer you always had viruses on everything you own oh my god i was an illegal little bastard you never wore protection whenever you're trying to do your technology never wore protection when i was giving that internet love <laughs> i know i never i was feeding that internet i never wore contraceptives ever especially not flavored ones ne not flavored ones and i didn't do it for never mind because I, every piece of technology that you've ever owned, I've always seen some naked anime person. Oh, I've yeah. always been like, hot milfs near you. Oh, yeah. Like, what is happening? No, you open my Snapchat and it's like, get sex now. 3.6 3. miles away from And I'm like, Have, oh my God, so many viruses. Never clicked on it. Don't you dare. Really? Never clicked on it. Never. As a curious little 15 year old, never clicked 16 on it. Year old, never clicked on it. Oh my God. I've definitely clicked on it. First a off, first off, I was. Me at 15? I was like, she's down the street? I would have been like, God, I'm scared. Oh, no. Yeah. I was like, this hammer needs to be here. Yeah, that's the difference between you. You were like, this hammer. I was like, 2 plus 4 equals 6. I was like, track to 6. You're to like, me, Ma, you can't see, but can you make your way over here to I make was like, my hey, Ma, can I get 10 bucks for some Fortnite skins? And you were just like. Fortnite was not out in two. It was. I was not doing Bro, that. Fortnite, quick side rail. Side rail? Fo side car. Side note. Side note. Damn it. <laughs> When Fortnite dropped, yeah, before the world knew what it was, okay, I was playing it due to my friend that told me. I swear, to, I swear to God, like I'm, I'm not boosting at all. I played Fortnite season one, the first, like the first month, everything yeah. came out because he he described it as 100 people get dropped on this island and it's like a survive yourself. I was like, dude, that shit that sounds, sounds fun. sick. So I played it. This is like way before building was a thing. People knew how to build the, the reasons, all this shit, right, mm -hmm. bro? That those days of Fortnite, I'd pay anything. I I would. I would literally empty my grown man pockets now to experience that again. Swear to God. What do, you, was, what do you feel like you gained from saying that out loud? I don't know, actually. <laughs> I really don't know. So I'm sorry about that. You're soiling my pants. But I just, I went down memory lane. I'm doing what to you? You're, yeah, I shouldn't have said that. I sold you're, your you're pants? You wrinkled my pants. You soil my pants often. But you're all wrong on the autopilot subject. You know that, right? No. Because I mean, it's it's insane, but to, to it is it. literally a first of all, I can't even I, I was thinking about this the other day. I can't comprehend how the hell they make cars. That oh, is yeah, no, insane either. technology. 100%. And then you make a car that can, can drive do itself. its own thing. OK, but think about it. Go back. Go back to your go back to Patty. So Patty had cruise. It control. was my first 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee. AC didn't work. Seatbelts didn't work. Ronda the Honda, 07 Honda Pilot, 200,000 miles. Right. She has cruise control. Okay. Yeah. Regulate the speed. Stop. So now you keep going to evolution of cars. A couple years later, they had it to where it'll slow down and speed up for you. Like the 07 Pilot, if I went to 80, clicked cruise control, it's going to go 80. It'd go straight That's through a semi. That's cruise control. It'd go straight through a semi. That's not impressive. So now they turned cruise control to where when you can choose the distance, how close you get to a car, it starts slowing down for you. Okay. That car takes off, it picks back up. Okay. All you do from that, now as we keep getting older, they did lane assist. And they did highway. You're things. a prideful, egotistical bastard. I'm saying that's look, what I'm taking from this. My car on the highway. You're saying can go okay, but you're just saying that they, you're saying that they just thought of the. It's not even just thinking of the idea of doing it. No, how making it's, it's, it's unreal. making it is in. So how how do they even make a car? No. 100%. How do you make a car where I can do this and I can also get FM radio? I can hear what Katy Perry is talking about. Are you it's nuts? LA. Yeah. No, I get that. Are that you? Part, I can. I can. The car can, itself is more crazy to me than the technology of full self driving. Hundred percent. But how? Do you see my Tesla right in that big screen? You can see human beings in cones in the road. Yeah. Are you nuts? That's sensors and cameras, and they, it's quick. Shows up a cone. You, you do it. I can't. <laughs> so why are you trying to downplay the, the genius of these people? It's incredible. I'm saying in other cars, if yeah. there's these features, all you really have to do is integrate the fact that it's following a route mm -hmm. to a destination, and then you have full self-driving. Color. It's crazy. Okay, so color came from God. Right? No yes. one invented color. Correct. So we, the, when the earth was made, when God said, here's our color was made, right? Wild. Have we invented a new color recently? 
I think, I mean, yeah, it, it's not, it's not an invention of new color, but it's more of just like you mix this with this and now you get a, a bluish green or a nebula purple. So in 2024, they're going to drop a new color. I don't know if it's like a, I don't know if you have to buy a raffle for it or if it's an actual drop is rather it? than just some scientists with goggles, like mixing colors. And then, but how, but, but how is that? I can't, I can't fathom how the hell they, you can make a new color. Like you can mix it, but how, there's only a set amount of colors in this world, right? The ones that are in the crayon box. No. It's kind of like a phone number. Excuse me? Like there's almost an infinite amount of phone numbers. No, everybody. There's definitely multiple people with the same phone numbers as me. Uh, there has to be. What? Speaking there's of. 10 digits. You know what? 10. Seven digits. There's 10 digits. Seven digits and a phone number. Area code is not a part of your phone number. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it area is. Area code. It, there's your phone number, then there's your area code. So if somebody, I, okay, I, okay, okay, okay. So if somebody said, what's your area code? What yeah, are you going to give that's them? A, that's a your part area of your phone code. Number. Yeah, that's part of your phone number. No, why if, did they give me your phone number? If I was in Bali and I only entered in your last seven digits, there's no way in hell I'm getting a hold of you. I need your first three digits. I'm not saying it's not necessary, but it's different that's than your, your phone, phone number. number. No, your my phone, phone number starts with those seven. Okay. Area code is an area code. Anytime you give your phone number for any solicited information, do you put seven digits or ten? It, what? <laughs> do you give them seven digits and they just... They know that you're here local? First yep. off, Dallas has three. Three different area codes. I don't even have a Dallas area code. Exactly. So if I was here and you live here with me now and I only did your seven, I'm not getting a hold of you. I need Call me ten. right now without, without putting in the area code. I'll give you my number and CJ just mute it. Now call me without my area code. Put it up to the speaker. It's gonna work. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please hang up and redial the you, number. You got it. Oh! That's not my fault. You got jank service. Oh, my God. Jank. I, I gave him seven digits. I didn't give him a full phone number. I gave him seven. What's? No, because in every R&B song, give me your seven digits. What's that? That's what they that's said. That's old. That's old. That's oh, old. Oh, so you're saying area codes are new. No, they're not new. But back then, it was There's like, less people? There's clearly, a, clearly there's less people. You think there was more people? You think there was more human beings? I'm earlier in the world. No, no, not to that effect. But okay. I'm saying not drastically enough to where they were like, we should probably add area codes. There's area codes back then. But there's but it, they were more stable. It was a more known thing. Like in the 80s and shit, it literally could be, what's your number? They just tell them that or that because everyone had the same area code. Our own city, 214-972-469. There's three different ones for our city. So yeah, it wouldn't take too long if you gave me those and I guessed this one, no, this one. Oh, you picked up. If I'm in India... And you give me your seven digits, and I don't know where you are in the states. I'm never getting a hold of you. I'd have to guess every area code. Your phone number is ten digits, period. The area code is the first three, but still a part of your phone. Is number. that the same for FaceTime? What? Like you FaceTime me without my area code? I don't know. I'm not asking you to try. I was just. I'm gonna say I can't even regular. You think I can just FaceTime you? The you should know podcast. Me gusta el pollo y la salsa bonita, guys. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Babbel. P, you want to know the best way to learn a new language? Tell me. Immersion. Mm. Living where the language is spoken and using it every day. But if that's not in the cards for you... It sounds expensive. You can still learn a language the second best way. You want to know what that is? What is that? Babbel. Oh, I love Babbel. That's how I learned. Me gusta de pollo de sal bonigas. That's beautiful. One in five Americans have learned a new language on their bucket list. If that's you, make 2024 the year you finally check it off the list by using our friends Babbel. Babbel's quick 10-minute lessons are designed by over 150 language experts to help you start speaking a new language in as little as three weeks. You don't want to have to pay hundreds of dollars for private tutors or waste hours on apps that don't really help you learn the language. Babbel is designed by real people for real conversation. Babbel's tips and tools are approachable, accessible, rooted in real life conversations and delivered with conversation based teaching so you're ready to practice what you've learned in the real world i've tried to learn several different languages in high school german in college spanish Hello. had a hard time in both there's something about that classroom experience and it's it just not. felt like it felt weird it didn't feel right it didn't feel like they're actually trying to teach me it feels like they're checking off a list yeah, it's, like, it's like you're studying for a test not for real world application exactly with Babel, i feel like after three weeks in there, I could go maintain a good conversation. One study even found that using Babbel for 15 hours is equivalent to a full semester at college. Babbel has over 10 million subscriptions sold. Plus, all of Babbel's 14 language courses are backed by their 20-day money-back guarantee. 
Here is a special limited time deal for our listeners right now. Get 55% off your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash Y-S-K. Get 55% off at babbel.com slash Y-S-K, spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash Y-S-K. Rules and restrictions may apply. Now on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. I just, I just love the thought of technology, and it, 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 it scatters my brain a lot. Bro, it's it's kind of crazy. And There's I, so many questions that's just like, what the f***? Like, how does exactly. that work? Exactly. How, does that, how does that work? Especially with AI now, right? I, oh. was on, I saw this news article when it, they're talking about all these new AI robots, and they had like videos of these AI robots. One of them was a stripper, and I, I immediately looked how much that was because I would say that would be nice in the house, right? But then I thought, a lot of people in the comments, what? You wouldn't want an AI stripper? Like imagine How just a robot. And she's like, "How would that work?" You haven't seen the AI. Is she bald? Is she bald? Oh, it's it's literally like a big whiteboard with legs and arms, and she's she was moving that thing though. Her hips were going. Shakira. Oh my god! It was like you. <laughs> so she had a, a faulty hip. She had shoddy shot, shoddy wires. Yeah, if you didn't oil her up a little bit. If I walked into your house and there was a whiteboard that was stripping and moving, <laughs> you wouldn't be oppressed. I'd. And run. I'd scream and run. Okay, that goes into my point. A lot of people are scared of these new AI robots. They're saying Bro. the AI robots will will take over the world. What are they talking about? Bro, uh, if we went to war with AI robots, we would win in ten seconds. Who built who built the AI robots? Humans. Okay, so we that, are their god. Yes, but you that's know, not the point. Bro, we literally god, go God created us and we went against him. We revolted against him. We sinned. We weren't designed to. We still sinned. We fell short. God could turn me off like that, can he? Exactly. I could turn that robot off like that, can I? Not exactly. Cam, how are they getting power? How are they getting power? How are AI robots getting power? They just have an endless battery? No. Turn the take the battery out. But turn that, the off button on. But that's the thing. It's they're getting so advanced. Basically, the, the the true scare comes from the fact that. So it started with Chat GBT and all all the open AI, like the thinking for themselves AIs, right? But the the <laughs> people keep making it better and better to where they actually, it just came out that the AI lied. The AI lied for itself, made a lie to where it couldn't get itself caught in this thing. If you're gullible trial. enough to get tricked by a robot you made, you don't need to be here anyway. That's, that's not the point. It's not the point. It's the fact that it openly lied. It didn't tell the truth. It made an excuse, lied Why to where it didn't get caught. Why is that scary though? Because you think of that now in another five years, 10 years, it's going to have more. It's just going to keep getting better and better. Deeper thinking. And it could get to the point where they could override the system. You can't turn the power off. They could turn on the backup generator to where it, it, it's locked. You can't turn it off. Say this thing was the AI, right? Yeah. <laughs> hmm? Pour water on it. But, You're done. Okay. But that's... Think about huge rooms, right? Do what if they hack the system that, that the key cards, they can't open the doors. No one can shut the power off. You just going to burn the building down? Yes. We've done that before. No. Sorry. All right, it's okay. I agree with you. Like I, I agree. If, yeah. if robot, if I have an AI robot, he starts talking shit, back talking, I slap him, pfft, spin yeah. on him, then break him. Yeah, he might. Be I'm just saying the possibility, bro. I robot. I know it's a movie, but that if they, okay, that's when his shit's gonna get. I've scary. never seen I robot, so I don't know. Will Smith's 2004 you, I robot. A lot of people have those movies that everybody's seen, but you haven't. I robot's that for me. I mean, it's not like it's block, but like you're gonna be like, oh, but it the whole. They're in like 20, whatever, 20, 30, something like that. Okay. They make the physical robots. Yeah. The robots, three first rules is like, uh, never hurt another robot, always listen to a human, never turn on human, something like that. Right. One robot, something went wrong, gets rogue, mm -hmm. and it literally like, it messes with all the other robots, and then they revolt against the humans. They're damn near bulletproof because they're made to be durable. They're made to help the elderly assist humans yeah. do heavy lifting, stuff like that. I just but if those things go south, bro, these people were... Ting, 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 on these robots, they're just eating them. There's, they made them bulletproof and stuff like that. But like, there's nothing that I made that I can't stop. That's just my fact. There's nothing that I you're not going to be making them though. But I'm saying those Bring people career shift. You're going <laughs> to hit up Elon. Hey, let me let me shadow you for a couple weeks, man. What are you? No, we're going to be right here. And in ten years, if we're right here and a robot busts through that, well, we won't be here in ten years. But if we're just making a podcast and making an episode, ten yeah, years, a yeah. robot smashes through the wall. Okay. What, what are you going to say? Go get a pail of water. What? Fire department. F oh, call the fire department yeah. before he uh, just. 
who are these? He rips our limb off. You don't think there's going to be any safe words for robots? You don't think there's a, there's a safe word. there's a safe word? You know how like you press the iPhone on the side five times to call nine one one? There's got to be that on the robot. So you think a a, a, a robot busts in? We go pineapple, and they just go here. <laughs> yeah, and they just turn or something like that. Bro, if they if they've already gone against humans, you don't think they've deactivated their safe word? What am I going to take a key and put it in his back? Like, rev him up? Anything that's running electronics is easy powered off. All right. Easy powered off. All right. Same thing with the sun. Sounds. Same thing with the sun. <laughs> Further that one. You ch you chose to say it. How long is the sun? You chose to say that, not me. How long? Enhance this conversation. How long has the sun been here? Long time. Where's it getting its power from? Itself. Right. Burning ball of fire. A burning ball of fire. Yeah. I've lit so many candles in my life. It is, none of them has lasted more than two days. I'm not trying to say that the sun isn't real before everybody comes and attacks me. I'm saying that shit doesn't quite make sense to me. <laughs> the sun? It's just a burning ball of fire that just stays there. I'm in Texas right now. I'm hot as <laughs> Florida. They got that same sun right now. Hot as balls. Hot as a mother Huh? Are you, are you, and it's just, it's lit itself it's up? it's huge. It's, it, you, it's, you, again, incomprehensible. I'm just not getting it, because how the f do you know that? You're choosing to not get it. No, I'm saying, but how do you know that? How do we know that? That's, okay, that's another thing. It's blind, it's blind faith. Thank you. But, some people do, there are, there are telescopes. There are massive telescopes, they can see the size. I owned a telescope in elementary school. It's not the same I went out of Preston's window. Shut the fuck. Up. The I went out of Preston's window and I looked at the moon and I was like, "She looks like a golf ball." I can't tell you much about it. So you're saying Peter back in 1804 was like, "Let me get this big ass telescope." He zoomed in. He zoomed in on. I hear it now. Yeah. I hear it too. Someone's in here. No one's in here. He's. He zoomed in on the sun, right? That's a crazy motion. <laughs> he zoomed in on the sun. He was like, yeah, that powered itself. It's been around here for about 4,000 years, and it's going to stick around for about 18,000 more. And Cam said, I get it. That's what you believe? I get it. I get what you're saying. I do. I really do. But there's, there's certain things. It's always good to do your own research, right? There's, there's certain things. It's like I don't, I don't even care enough to argue the sun. I don't. I'm hot, I'm alive because of it. So I'm like, thank you, son. Thank you, thank you, God, for son. Thank you, son, for turning and staying on. There's no need to argue it. There's no need for me to be like, dude, I just, it doesn't make sense. I just didn't get it. <laughs> Sun's not real. <laughs> that's, what, that's my, that's, that's me for everything. Like street lights, everything. Everything Sh is, everything is tough. What the fuck, what's there to argue about a street light? I'm just Bulb, on. pull on. It's just very impressive to me. It's more of that, that like, all these street lights on this street work in unison. They're on a timer. Exactly. But like this one goes and then the yield to the left goes and then that one stops. They know to stop this one at that time. Like it's in a system. That's impressive, no? No. W Your microwave has a timer. But that I have to control. This thing's on a 24 hour loop and it's been that way for years, decades. Like that's impressive work. You're, you're, a, you're <laughs> a simple man. You're a simple so. man. No, you're a, you're a complex man, but some things make sense to you and some are just... I like to question the world. Ha, have you ever thought, like, why can't, why haven't we invented something? Does like that, me and I, you? Yes. I have. No, but like, doesn't that piss you off? That we haven't invented it? Yes. <laughs> what are you saying? Like, we're, like, why can't all these inventions, some of the easiest shits ever, silly bands, some of the most complex, full self-driving. Why haven't we made something? Because that's what I was talking about. You're too egotistical. Why didn't we think of full self-driving? Are you a scientist? No, but I'm saying, I'm... Why is the sun on? Who are you? Who are you, Cornelius? Like, what, what? I'm, I'm saying, why can't we sit down one day, crack a couple Celsius, maybe a Red Bull, 400 milli vanillis, caffeine, going crazy, and we just sit down and get a blueprint? Why? I have. Of, oh my God, I'd love to hear this. Of what? What's your invention? This. Well, that's true. That's fantastic. I'm talking about a ta like an item, like a, a t some tangible, even if it doesn't better the world. Have you tried? Like a toy. But have something. you actually tried? No, because it's there. You go. It's blank. It's blank. <laughs> that's you. I go. Then help me. Let's make a toy. I can't make you creative. Let's make a toy. Let's make a what? toy. Stop. A real toy. A toy for children. Oh, <laughs> a toy for children. A toy for children. Let's make a toy. That's not already made. Right now? Yeah, just start. Okay. Spitball me ideas. What would you start I need with? this to close my eyes. Go for it. But you have to talk so it's you. not dead space for okay. audio listeners. Here we go.
So we're making a toy for children. What's what's the first thing? You can think of shape, you can think of texture, maybe color, maybe theme, right? What do you know? I Nothing. got something. Please. An electronic etch a sketch. It's already out. Name it. What's it called? I don't know the name, but it's hundred percent out. Confidently? You say Confidently. that? How do you know that? Because I've seen it. Where? An electronic etch a sketch? Yeah. You're kidding. Where have you seen it at, Cam? Are you just saying things to make me feel small as a person? You want to look it up? I'm asking you. No, you confidently said it. I've seen it. Where? My nieces. Really? Yeah. Call Heather right now. Call your sister right now. That's one niece. I'm talking about the other nieces. Oh, by who? Call, call by my brother. Oh, call Corey then. He's at work. Oh, is he? He is. Cam, that's one thing about you. I've learned this about you in these it's, past couple. It's, it's true. In these it's past right. two years, we've spent more time around each other than ever. You are a habitual. Habitual liar. No. You lie more than anybody I know just to because, prove your point. Just because I can't name the exact time You said you've seen it. Yes. Where? Just because I can't name the exact time date thing. I'm willing where? to bet everything this is in existence. But where, no, you said I have seen it. Because I feel like I have. You feel like you have. It's different than what you said. I have seen it. And I then you like said Corey's daughter has there. I was lying to get out of the pressure. Damn you. It's a real thing. So if it's a real thing, am I wrong? Is it though? Confidently. Yes. Or you just strongly believe it? I, I am I am almost almost, oh. almost certain it's a real oh. thing. So if I look it up and this is why you and can't it's real. This is why you can't invent anything. Because you are negative. I'm not negative. You are. I can't make something that's already been made. There's no point. You don't know that it's been made. An electronic etch sketch. So like an iPad is what I'm talking about. There's no knobs. There's no oh, you kinda have to have knobs. No! With your fingers, there's holes in your. F <gasps> there we go. Electronic etch a sketch. Are you ready? Patent it. Travis Grayson, if you're listening to this, right? An iPad with two finger slits in them, right? And they're censored on the inside. And you make the etch a sketch like that. You're making the etch a sketch with your fingers, and it's like a little, it's like a little cushion pouch, and you can you have freedom of wiggle. You know what I mean? You freedom wiggle your fingers. So you don't move your fingers this much. No, you can go like this. The etch a sketch like that. Like that. Not the same thing. <laughs> no, we're not even close. You put your fingers in these in these holes. What? The Apple goggles? <laughs> what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you put your fingers in here, and then you're like this, right? You're going here, here, here. Electronic edge shit, and you shake it to finish it. Tell me that's invented. That like Tell me that's invented. I know that's the point. It's an electronic etch sketch. So you just put your fingers in it. You put your fingers in it, and you can electronically go on this screen. And then you shake it to finish it. That's in a new invention. That has not been made. I don't know. <laughs> I deserve more credit for how genius I am. That is, would that sell? Would that be a good sell? Oh, I'm not saying that. <laughs> you didn't ask me that if it was going to have you, good you profit margins. <laughs> yeah. I feel that. All right. Yesterday, I saw this. Okay. Right? Yesterday being Easter Sunday. Oh, it was. Praise the Lord, this is the Easter episode. We're not dressed like a bunny. It's way too hot for that. I would I love if you dressed like a bunny. That's a little sexy. You know, ever gone to a club and the, the bartenders are in their little bunny outfits with the little... Th the little you often go to clubs on Easter Sunday? No, I'm just saying, but I've gone to clubs where the girls are dressed like... They're dressed like bunnies? Yeah. They what the, club do you go to? The same one you do. Yeah, like Halloween times okay, when they wear the a, little that's bunnies. A, that's like a bad bunny. That's like a, I, like, would want, I want you like to be my... That's like a promiscuous would bunny. Would you be my bad bunny? I'll be your bad boy. Oh, and I'll put a little cotton on your little butt. Okay. And I'll squeeze well, your little cotton butt. Okay, so... The You Should Know Podcast. This episode is brought to you by our friends at FitBod. Uncle P is back in the gym. We got you back on your routine, yeah, Bubba. You know, you know how you bring that water bottle every day? I do. That's essential, you'd say that, right? It is very essential to you my workout. You know what a true essential to your workout is? Tell me. FitBod. I love FitBod. I use it every workout. Whether you are a seasoned gym goer or just starting your fitness journey, Me. FitBod will push you to make progress. It's like having your own personal trainer, but better. It's cheaper. You can work out anywhere with or without any equipment, and it's easy to build a custom fitness plan that works for you. FitBod is very user-friendly. It's oh, very so helpful. Friendly. So it breaks down workouts, right? It breaks down different parts of the body. And then also my favorite part is there's an instructional video with the workout. I'm a visual learner. I can read something and kind of get it, but especially for the gym, I need to watch somebody, a pro, Teach me how to do it so I know I'm safe. I know I'm doing things right, and I know I'm going to get good gains. FitBod 
does just that. Another great thing about Fitbot is you can see your achievements. It makes it feel like I've completed something. It tracks your, your workouts, it tracks your progress. So it, it shows you what to do and it shows you how it's helping you throughout the process. Fitbot creates a personalized workout routine based on your exact goals and your fitness level and the available equipment you have. Fitbot adapts as you improve. So each workout will be challenging to push you to make progress. Yeah, it tracks your muscle recovery and it's fine tuned by experienced certified personal trainers. You can learn new movements the right way with over 1000 demonstration videos. Add Fitbot to your workout essentials. Join Fitbot today to get your personalized workout plan. Woo! Get 25% off your subscription or try the app for free at fitbot.me slash YSK. That's F-I-T-B-O-D dot M-E slash Y-S-K. Now on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. Due to yesterday being a lot about eggs, even though that's not the real reason for the season, but there's a lot of eggs things, right? I was always a great egg hunter. I want to see how good your egg knowledge is. I saw, I saw a very simple problem. Some could call it math. Some love that. Some could call it reason. So what am I doing? You're just going to answer this question. Answer questions about? Eggs. Egg what, trivia is what we're doing now. Trivia, it's a singular question. Okay. On eggs. Here we go. Okay, here we go. I have six eggs. Okay. I break two, I fried two, and I ate two. How many eggs are left? Shut up. Six eggs. Huh? Six eggs. Incorrect. <coughs> wait. Wait, so you broke two, you fried two, and you ate two. Mm -hmm. Four eggs, because you ate two. And that's a rope and pull. That's the icebreaker. Here's the real one. You ready? <laughs> the eggs got him. He thought shit was sweet because we were talking about Easter. Here's the real one, people. What you've really been waiting for. Nothing to do with Easter. Okay. Classic rope and pull. But now you got your math work and you're confident. That's exactly this where I need. This gives you some tantalization. Exactly, oh, I'm getting blood flow. That's exactly where I can need. Can I see it? A fro no, you can touch it though. Later. Uh, Good morning. A frog. It's about frog. We're in. We're in amphibians what the fuck now. Is happening. A frog is in a 40 foot deep hole. R.I.P. to that frog. It's Not making out. Hell of a hole. Hell of a hole. Better have a good vertical. Each day, the frog can climb three feet. No. But falls back one foot each night. How many days does it take the frog to get out of the hole? Are you stupid or dumb? Wait. Hey, okay. Your, your life mission is to save this toad. Uh, can you get it done? <laughs> Wait for it. What? I can't think in my head. It makes me throw up. So, there's a frog, right? I would really like it if you drew him in the hole. If, if I have any say so. That's a f***ing turtle. That is not a frog. That's not a frog. <laughs> Wait, what frog is that? The one you said. That is... That was, that was God's honest, your best frog you could draw? <laughs> Bitch, I don't know what a frog looks like. I haven't seen a frog in person in years. Are frogs extinct? You, you never ate a frog leg? Like a spicy chicken frog leg? What the f*** did you just say? You've never eaten a frog leg? For real? Are you joking for the, are, are, for the podcast right now? I am dead ass. Frog leg. Kim, you've... Cajun seasoned frog leg. Tastes like spicy Holy chicken. Holy shit. I thought you were talking about your little nasty ass was as a kid. You were like, give me that frog. You ripped its leg off and ate it. If I ripped a frog's <laughs> limb straight from his slimy body and I chewed on it, <laughs> I would put myself in solidarity for the rest of my life. But the I way exile the way you deal with animals in human bodies, it wouldn't surprise me. I love an animal. I love you love dog. feeling people's rib cages. <laughs> You got me sounding like a villain on here. I love yes feeling or no. people's rib cage. Yes or no for your dog. Do Ruby's you nine pounds. She's adorable. Her ribs. You're like this. You massage her. You're like, I can't believe it. Oh, look at you. Feel your little heartbeat. That's where your intestines are, Ruby. Yeah. yeah and she then, needs to know. She didn't you, get to go to health class. And yes or no, do you go up to your wife and just grab her body? And you're like, oh, your ribs, babe, your shoulders and your elbows. You have a collection of corpses and cadavers in your house. I swear I to have, God. I have real skeletons in my closet. <laughs> exactly. And, no. and now I found the out you're going to the local park, snapping frog, frog legs and chewing them and fuck you, you fucking frog. And then I go back home. I rub my wife's ribs. I go, I got to go back. Up. Hey, bunny. I'm going to start. <laughs> That's what I do. You're, you're, no. you're Cam Bundy. I'm Cam Bundy. You're Cam I'm Dahmer. <laughs> Ted Kennedy, Cam, Cam Dahmer. No, my wife and dog, I share a special, dog, wife, wife and dog, I share a special love for them, and I love every crevice, every part of them. 
Do it to me. You lost the marker. I did lose. Oh, it's right here. It's right there. All right. Draw the frog in the hole, bottom of the hole. <laughs> I think that was my tooth, not the cap. All right. Here we go. So we got the frog, right? Mm hmm. Fuck you. <laughs> what? So, I thought you were going to make fun of my frog. That's literally a human. Who cares? Human. His name is Frog. Okay. Frog. So Frog is. You, you put his name on his face? Is there any other things you want to fix about me? Oh my god. Yes, I have scoliosis. Was he a rapper? <laughs> Face tattoos? Yeah. <laughs> we got, it's we little got frog. MC frog. It's little frog. Okay, so 40? 40 feet hole. Okay, 40 feet hole. Okay. What's the next you word? You got the rest? Yes, bro, you're throwing. He climbs three feet every day. Okay. So 43, 46, 49, 49. What are you, what are you? All right. So every day, there's one day intervals. One day. Every three feet days. Every day he goes three feet up. Yes? No? Okay. That's what you said. Why are you looking at me like I'm stupid? <laughs> shut, shut your fucking up. Don't speak. Neither one of you speak. What? We're going to keep going. Uh, every night he falls yeah. one foot. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So do your brilliant little calculation <laughs> for the falling one foot. Okay. All right. Every, and then every day he falls one? Every day he climbs three, every night he falls one. So he goes two feet every day. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How many, How day? many days does it take for him to get out of the hole? How long has he been here? <laughs> <laughs> Is it his first day? <laughs> Did he just fall? <laughs> He's 40 feet down. Okay. Yes. That's oh, all. Oh, so 2x equals how many days? <laughs> what? Wait, so Shush. I'm trying to find out the day, how many days he's been there. What does that matter? What does that matter? What am I trying to figure out? How long does it take to get him out of the hole? How many days? Yeah, he didn't bring a suitcase. He's not on a business conference. He's trying to survive, get back to ground. So it's 40 feet up here. And he, he goes up two every day. Two, he goes up, oh! He goes up three. How many times does two go into 40? He goes up three, down two. 20 no, days. up three, 20 down days. One. Yes. Okay, you're going to get a quick applause. Now you're going to get ridiculed. I want, you to, I want you to look at your chart. Yes, sir. Tell me what's wrong with that. 43, 46, 49, 46. 49, 46, 46, 49. What happened to me? He's going up, up in earth. Oh, so it should be going in descending order. Yeah. I can't I can't multiply backwards. Oh, I thought you were about to be in a loop for this question. I was about to say, holy shit, this is gonna take him no, a minute. I, know. I can't I can't He's I like can't. 80 feet this is a big hole. He's like, I just wanna help the frog. My god. You said 43, 46, 49. I was like, oh we're gonna be here for a while. Oh no, we're gonna be here for a while. Wait, round of applause for Peyton. Hey. All right, let's get very very unique way. Very unique way of getting it done, but you got it done. Let's get the women on the podcast. You should know podcast. We got the women on the podcast. Round of applause for the women of the issue. No team. Right, all right. We're the, we're the women. With the women. With the women. With the women. Mama live. Auntie Ash back on. Oh yeah. lord. Oh my god. Okay, I have a I have a question for you guys. That's very uh, macro perspective, right? Okay. Big we've words. I we've like I've, I was great addiction. Great. I got a, actually an award oh, in English. Dean, yeah, from, from the dean of yeah. my college. Did y'all know that? Weak ass dean. What? I got an award in college for English and sociology. Same. In college. <gasps> Well, I was about to say, well, I got uh, us as a friend group. We've been, we're very close. Very, very close. like that, like, like vastly almost, almost close. Too, yeah. I see your butt probably three times a week, Peyton. Bare butt. Okay. But honestly, bare how impressive is it? It's got tiger stripes. Not nothing I like. on Cam. You got nothing on Cam. Wait, who I'm has dry. a better butt, me or Cam? Cameron. Cam. What? Oh! You used to have the better butt. I got the better butt now. No, you no, used to. No. You used what to makes his butt better than mine? Yours only looks good without like clothing on Cameron. Looks good with clothing, without Yours, clothing. Cameron's got more voluptuous over the years. Yours has shrunken just a smidge. Bitch, I'm dragging away. Are y'all? Hold on. Cameron. So, uh. You got that Disney princess booty. I got that Disney princess no, booty. No, time dragging, out. Like hitch trailer ass. I don't. I'm here. My, I think my ass is better than Cam's. Why are you getting so offended? Because I have a nice ass. No, he's got the like, Elastigirl, and you have um. Elastigirl. 
Cam's got more of a BBW ass. Yeah. Cam's got like a Cam. Look, your ass looks like. He's the kind of ass that people pay for. It's rounded out. Right. It's mine. Rounded. Mine is like you see that in some yoga pants that you're turning your head. He his is his my is shit. Like your this. head. Your head snapped. Yours is, just like, Yours is like the firm booty. You can cup it, Cam's. You can. Cam, no, Cam. no, Cam's is better for performance. Like, okay. in an act, he would be fantastic. Well, we're just saying, we're not uh, saying yours is you don't have a good have ass. One. It's just not. What are we talking? Optically, about? mine is nicer. Like, some no, people, some people just have a bigger shelf. Doesn't mean you still don't have a shelf. Yeah, but my shelf has has. His shelf life is longer. I have bare bricks on my shelf. Cam's shelf is like, oh, you could put like you could put sweets and candy on it. Well, you could put like two things on your shelf, but two expensive things. Yeah, but you could put your whole class. family lineage of photos on mine. So. Yeah. so his uh, two bear bricks, whole bloodline on mine. So. Just let him have it. No. Do y'all think other friend groups are like us? No. no. Because y'all the only friend group I've had. No. I, th I think it'd be... I, to an sorry. extent. Sorry. I think it'd be naive to say no. I think there's definitely friend groups out there like us. We've hung out with other friend groups, though. And it's, That's what I was just the vibe is different. The vibe it's is so not, different. I've it been is. around other friend groups, or I've not joined other friend groups, but say they have a function and I'm just attending that. Yeah. Oh God no! Like I'll say shit and I'm like that I would say around right. y'all. Yeah. Look at me like, oh but, no. Yeah. And I think it's because oh, no. we're like family, so it's like nothing's off limits versus them. Be like, oh, I could never say that. Yeah. No, we def we, we definitely are loose with each other. <laughs> like, <laughs> Very loose. Like, we'll we'll drop any and everything right on each other. But I, it's also like. There's definitely a f group of four, a group of five, six friends that's in, in Idaho right now that do the same thing. Maybe. What do you think is the moment? Have you ever had the moment as a friend group hanging out together when y'all have been in your head been like, wow, we're close? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Every I need to hear we, it. Every time we, I don't, we can't say that. Shit we can. I want to hear it. We cannot say that on here. Why? Wait, what is it? Say it. And if, if it's too much, could you cut no, it? <laughs> like, who says that don't shit that I did? Everybody, shh. Who's, my biggest secret is out. See, I can't say that on the podcast. We can't say that. So CJ just cut what she said out. Okay, but there's never been a moment. I mean, uh, you've you've done you've literally done jumping jacks and the running man without clothes on in front of my wife backwards. So if you take that for what it's worth, I'd say that's a gold medal. Yeah. She's seen your sphincter. Yeah. I have a pretty sphincter. That's crazy. That is insane. To say. I'm not gonna lie. When you bent over today to unlock the door, your back was hairier than normal. <laughs> it was f hairy. You like, think so, bro? It was no. It's like your lower. It looks hairier today. Oh yeah, it's like the, your, it your, just uh, the, your tummy is too. The hair is darker. Did you shave it? I always shave. Well, every time you shave your back, the hair is going to grow back thicker and darker. Just letting the, you know. Mm. She's a hairologist. Mm. I am in the making. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fre question for y'all, right? Okay. We're close. Yep. We're friends. Very. A little too. Cam, I already know your answer because I asked you, right? Yeah, sure. I'll take a back seat. Say I got in an accident, right? <laughs> I'm not wiping your ass, Payne. Why? You wouldn't wipe my ass? I'm not wiping your ass. Live. I'm not doing that. Why? That's one thing. Like, I, I, Ashlyn can because she do that shit for I, a living. I would probably but be the one to wipe everybody's ass in the friend group. Yeah. You would wipe my ass. If I had to. Real one. I, I just would gag. But like, I'd, probably, I, I'd probably be like, I don't have. Hold on, spread it open. Thank oh. you. <laughs> Fingers. What the, what the hell? He's getting a little extra play. What are you spreading Wait, by that? Okay, my patients, adults or kids, you take the little wipe and you put your. That's how you get it out of the hole. Or else. But, you well, just, don't go in my hole whenever no, you're wiping no, my ass. Is, what is this? You said spreading the cheeks. Well, I have. A, you would have to. Two, oh, you you can't babies, do that with babies, me. Oh, I don't want to hear about you wiping baby butt. I'm talking about Peyton Harden's butt. I can't do it, Peyton, because I honestly would gag. Like I can't do. Dirty booty. Are we talking about shitty? You gotta wipe my ass. You gotta do anything in my butt that I can't do. Ass man. But I'm saying if I got if an you accident. Have arms. That's the question. I, I would wipe it. it for you. I'm sorry. Thank you, Ashley. I'm sorry. I would do it. I'd, I'd, wipe it. I'd wipe it. I'd show you. I say you would need more wipe wipes. Would you wipe my ass? <laughs> yes. You are a f liar. I would, Liv. You are a liar. You are a liar. We all get in an accident. You're the only one that is capable. You're wiping all of our ass. Yes, because I love y'all. Y'all are damn sure taking group. Y'all are gonna have. Y'all are gonna be shitting at the same time. Yes. Get y'all on a regulated schedule. You're gonna shower at the same time. I'm doing it all at once. We don't get fed at the same time though. But you will. This is gonna be some human. Y'all are gonna be dogs. It's gonna be some human centipede shit. I'm feeding you at the same time. Y'all are all getting. You gotta cut that out. What's wrong with Human Centipede? It's a good movie. That it's a decent film. It's a good, good movie. movie. They each other's mouth, baby. Yeah, it's like a it's tunnel. Oh my god. It's like okay, a tunnel. Now I can't get that. Okay, if we were the Human Centipede, right? <laughs> <laughs> Who? How would y'all arrange the order? I'd have to be the head. I'm sorry. No, I, have to... I would have to be the head. Oh, I'm no. not eating none of y'all <laughs> because the shit that you eat, Peyton. No, no, you you Hell have to be at the end. No. He has to be at the end. Why? You have to be. The no. Guy to get it out. Healthier. 
your yeah. digestive system. But you can't worse. you can't smell it. My my poops are like coated in like a like a sausage. Like honestly, it has that plastic honestly, around if it. Yours don't get a little it comes turds. out in links. Yours don't yeah. get a little turds. If you're behind me, just don't get a little drop. It's like a little. You shit like a deer. Well, I have yep. IBS. Yeah, I think that's not good. I think that means you're like you're constipated, constipated and your gut health is bad. Well, you I shit like a deer. deer. No, anytime she yeah. poops, it looks like a collection of pebbles yeah, in the bottom. It's bad. Wait, why do you know that? I've seen a poop. Wait, hold on, hold time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. I've seen a poop. That's fine. You look at your wife's poop when she she finishes. I said, What's let me see real quick a couple times. I'm kidding. I haven't done that. But I've seen her poop a couple mean? times. Like on accident? It's like he's just looking. No, Cam, have you just, uh, was it on accident or do you look? Be honest now. I've looked a couple times. That's what I'm talking cute. about. What the <laughs> f What is happening? I was going to say, Liz, that you have cute little poops. I aspire to be that in love. I don't. <laughs> I, I don't. You said that before. Oh, you got some in your teeth. <laughs> you do? Every single time, Let me see. every time she's next to me, I, there's something ugly about me, there's something wrong, I'm dirty, I'm nasty. <laughs> you don't have anything you do. Yes, he does. It's black. It's Peyton, look at this tooth right here. I, I, I but you say you would. Amanda, tell me I've got cute little poops. What the hell is wrong with y'all? It's not like he's sitting there like, I'm going to eat your poop, Liv. <laughs> you said it was cute. Oh my God. Oh, I, I hope he doesn't say I don't know if I'm on the record saying it's cute. Oh, Cam, it does sound like something you would say. That sounds like you would say. You definitely said that. Oh, man, your poops are so yeah. Oh, babe. That's some shit. Are you okay? He just loves everything okay. about me. Okay, yes, and this is the problem I have with y'all. This is the problem I have with y'all. Because y'all are weird, right? Y'all, you oh, call. Y'all. Y'all too. Y'all call. Y'all. Hold on. Time out. Time out. I'm going to get to my point. Let me land. Let me land. Let me land. <laughs> Y'all call each other's poops cute. Y'all look at each other's poops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. No, don't look at no let's clear the air. My poop is not cute. It's not cute. Okay. It's a fucking okay. War zone. Cameron, I don't call okay. none of that shit cute. Okay. My poop's like a sawed off shotgun. Y'all call me weird, but you look at your wife's poop and you call it cute. Yes or no? Uh, probably. Okay. So I've talked to a girl before in front of y'all. Yeah. And I said, all right, baby. Bye. And Cam. That's a different. That's oh. different. So that's weird. That yes, that's weird. weird. That you look crazy. at your wife's boob. Oh, I did it. Maybe, maybe hands up. Yeah. Weird and cringe. That shit is cringe. Calling somebody that's baby that's is cringy? Baby is not, baby's not acceptable. Oh, we're going to have a baby and baby, baby debate then. Okay, baby is like. Gross. I want you, if you're my man, tell me that like over the phone where no one else can hear. Or tell me in the bedroom. I, <laughs> but CJ. If, if <laughs> CJ. If you're just around our friends, you can call me babe. I'll call you baby. No, no, no like, there's, there's not, not. You can call me. It should, should be, be babe. It's baby, ba baby. Baby is pushing it. You're like baby. Baby is when you're. Oh, baby. Watch this. Watch this. Say something to me. Like, ask me to go do something. Like, how would you? Say you want to go to Target real quick? All right, baby. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that? Watch this. Say the same thing to me. Say the same thing to me. I'm gonna go to Target. Fucking have a good trip. You didn't even ask me to go. What are you talking about? <laughs> Wait, what was the question? I said, do you want to go to Target? Oh yeah. Do you want to go to Target? Yeah, babe, let's go. What's the difference? Babe is short, like baby. Babe. Baby. That's my baby. baby. It's the Y. It's, baby. It's like it's like the B Y like that gives it. Okay, here, it's the is, It's the my, B. My thing is, you want it to be like that. Is just like you want. The, baby like, is like you're pushing an agenda. Yes, like oh, that's babe, my baby girl. Baby. Babe, babe is natural. Baby is like natural to me. No, What's up, baby? Oh, oh, I'd rather. What's really up, baby? Like, baby is like. Baby. Damn, baby, you look good. What's baby. wrong with that? Baby's baby. that. Okay, okay that I like that. Yeah, you like that? that was, you got some flow. That shit was that hot. Context, Damn, baby, you look fine. good. Yeah. But other than Damn, that, baby, baby bust needs to that. Be behind closed doors, like this what? In the ear. Like me and Cameron, we're just out and about. What do I call him? Babe. babe. Exactly. Okay, I'm not like baby. Baby, come here. Baby, come on, baby. I get what you're saying. Yeah. I get what you're saying. Hold on. I get what you're saying. There's a time and place like for Ryan everything. And his whatever. Yeah. They be doing the baby shit. Oh. What's wrong with the baby? It's like, not here, baby. Remember that first time we went to B Dubs with them? Yeah. No, I didn't. I wasn't there. I wasn't there. You were there. It was baby central. What's wrong with that it though? Baby, baby, it's do you just. Need your water? Baby, can I okay, it's it's not it's not like it's a, a canceled term. No one's allowed yeah. to use it. But it's it's just that stigma. It's, like it's a stigma. It is forced. It, it, honest to God, babe is like there, there's nothing sharp to it. There's no spear. There's no arrowhead. Baby, baby is sharp. It's baby, steam. say say I'm on Facetime, right? Okay. You be on Facetime. You're the girl. All right. You're the girl. And y'all 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 the referees, right? Okay. Bring, bring. What do you mean referees? Like stop you? Just like yeah, the commentary booth. Like, throw a red flag. Throw a red flag. Like whistle if something is wrong. Here we go. Okay. Bring, bring. What's up, baby? Bring. Payne, Payne does it like a. What's up, baby? He tries to do it smooth. Yes. I'm a smooth <laughs> mother.
Y'all like never been in the bed with me. I go, I go, I've seen you I on go. the phone and you don't say no. What's up, baby? Yes, I did. Cam, did I not say it? And that's whenever you were like, what the hell is that? Yes or no? Yeah. He ruined the spot. I was so talking. Of course. Like, you trying to be like, that's some, never mind. That's some light, some <laughs> light skin, skin shit. shit. What's up, baby? Okay, Ew, I was uh, trying to court this girl, and I called her baby on the phone. I said, what's up, baby? And Cam, being the L man he is, goes, ugh, what the hell? That's cringy. While the girl's on the phone. That is cringy. I but you don't say that. While the girl's on the phone, I was trying to court this woman. Okay, while she, while the on the phone. Court. It's not the same court. What's wrong with court? I'm court this woman. How old are you? <laughs> Wait, I'm trying to date this woman. No, I'm telling you, he's like 80. Yeah, but I feel like baby is when you when you hit like honey, 50. If I heard any of y'all say, "Come here, honey." Honey's definitely honey's older. Honey is definitely you have a grandkid. Call it, each other, you have a grandkid. Wait, so you would y'all saying honey? You have to. Have a would y'all rather me call the girl honey or baby? Babe. Uh, honey. No, I'm saying two options: honey baby, or baby. Honey. Baby. Over baby. Honey. Okay, so I'm right. Oh, no. Honey at 25 is wild. Honey's crazy. Honey's honey, sick. Honey, I'm your honey. What? Like Pookie? What about Pookie? Pookie's, that's some new age kid well, shit. Funny, if we're being funny, all right. Yeah, it's funny shit. But like, like what's up? What's up, stink? <laughs> what's up? Well, damn, baby, you look good. What's wrong with that? That line is smooth and I like it. So what's wrong? Wait, any other, any other, hey, all, hey no, baby, let's go it. to Target. No, it's no. all in how you say it, though. It is. It is. Okay, ask me to go do something. Ask me to pick something. You can't reach something. You're my girl. You can't reach something. Babe, can you get that thing off the top shelf? Yeah, baby, I got you. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Hey, I got you. Why you gotta add the baby? Because I love her. It's intimate. It. Me and Cameron, when I say babe, it's not out of like, ooh, let's like, like sexy time. Name. Okay, like, but it's just like, babe, I, come here. Liv, you've known me for how many years? Uh, we're pushing like seven, seven six or seven. Uh, you That's should know by now, I am seven. a sex symbol. When I say something, it is going to be sexy. That's stupid. That is stupid. I, the way it normal. rolls off my tongue, the way I, my feng shui in life is sex. <laughs> <All> right, <laughs> like that's just the aura I give safe? off. No, it's just an aura I give off. I am sex. You I'm walking it. sex. It's, that is who I am. Because you say baby? Yeah, baby, that I got you. Cringy. I bet in the comments, all my all the YSK females put in the comments Honest, if you like baby no, or not. They like him. They're gonna, they're they're gonna, they're gonna, be, like, like they're gonna be like, I don't give a fuck, what he. <laughs> Exactly, they like him so they Because know. of my aura is sex. I'm gonna be calling no girl baby. I'm gonna cut that shit. You know he's gonna be around Uncle P and I'm gonna be like, hey, call her baby, see what she do. I'm not calling my man baby. Yeah, Why? Okay. Unless girl, the, the girl say baby the too? If a girl says, be the girl and call me baby. What'd you have for lunch, baby? What? That's <laughs> Ew, me. That's so cringy. That's sexy. Immediate right, Lambo so doors. Sexy, so Immediate Model X. Actually, do, you, do you call, have you called your significant other baby? In the bedroom. Okay, that's different. Gross. That is, yeah. Well, well, <laughs> well, like, well, like, 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 if you guys that, are, when you, you guys hang in the bedroom, is gross. I honestly have respect crazy. for y'all too. If you guys were ever just at our house, like you guys are over a lot, I'm not just gonna be like, come on, baby, let's go, baby. I like that. See, it's oh, sexy. No, it's no, sexy. Don't even baby think about it. Is sexualized. That's baby is yeah. That's, that's it's I, sharp. It's that's sharp. I, I am sex. <laughs> Peyton sex hardened. Peyton coitus hardened. Cameron's Four never called me baby. Bedroom. Guess I don't have a sex appeal to me. He just doesn't. That's never Guess been I'm a thing. nasty fuck. Call, okay. call, call her, call her baby. baby. What's up, baby? <laughs> yeah, you like the little bit. Her got hard. <laughs> she could cut diamonds with those. You didn't like those. it, Liv. You didn't like it. Look at her. Look at her. Yes. But Cameron, but you use good, baby. You a different voice but you yeah. do it's yeah. sex it's, it's sex it's, it's, a, it's the tone of it but okay but day-to-day -day operations babe, I'm not calling babe, you shouldn't be sex anywhere i touch is sex open the door say baby i'm gonna go get the car baby i'm gonna go get the car <laughs> ew pay quit doing hey, that hey, fucking hey, that you sound like fucking javante right now and javante is sex <laughs> anytime you walk around javante is it not like that's one of the hottest people i've no, ever I'm seen in my life if i'm in and if i'm in a room with javante i start to sweat exactly I, I he's a hot sweat. guy i know he says baby i know his ass because he's hot baby it's the whole like lick lip ryan, J says, ryan says baby but ryan ryan's says, hot on, baby yeah and ryan no it's ryan's ryan's is a but different baby <sighs> No Sanjit probably it. doesn't say baby. I know Sanjit. Sanjit doesn't say it. <laughs> Sanjit's like, get your. <laughs> He's like, ah. Uh. He doesn't do Guinness. He's like this. He's like. Yeah. He probably says baby too. No, hell no. Duke, in Duke, his voice Duke with his girls, he had a baby and then a smile, done. And then that laugh, he's like, come here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> As a woman, I'm not saying it. I may, like, on the phone here, like, if I miss my man, yeah, I'll say that. Like, here and there. So he's got something waiting on him when he gets home. Okay, okay, that's. 
I'm just not doing that on the phone. I'm sorry, babe. I'm just, see, babe. See, babe. Babe, cool. Okay. Babe, that's quick. Babe, hey, babe. Hey, babe. Babe, baby, damn. Baby gets it a little. <laughs> no, but, that sounds forced. No, baby gets it a little. But, that's a just, we've, we've never done the looser. baby thing. Hey, I'm not gonna start. Right, try this. I want y'all to, I'm going to give y'all homework. Tuesday, right? Tuesday. Tuesday Lasa that's night. that's y'all's lasagna night, right? Get my haircut, brother. <laughs> oh, my Even God. Better. He's going to be fresh Even faded better. up. You might get a baby oh. after that. Okay, exactly. Like Watch this. No, let him whisper in your ear. It's not even. What the? Ashley's, no, Ashley's trying to make an erotic novel over here. Hold on. Time out. Tell me, 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 tell me. Listen to this. I'm gonna give you homework. Tuesday night, it's lasagna night, right? I don't like lasagna. Really? Spaghetti. Spaghetti night, right? She has the ragu cooking in the kitchen. She's got a bonnet on and her moo moo, right? 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 New lashes, huh? What's on the TV? College basketball. Oh, God. oh my God! Right, okay. right. You just got your hair cut, oh. your beard lined up. You look sexier than you ever have before. Hey, that's <laughs> sorry. That's I'm just saying cool. you're gonna look good. Okay. And then, and then I want you to put on a ball cap over your new oh, haircut, oh, so you're all crazy, now. right? I have to go buy one. Right. You see her. <laughs> you gotta go get a custom hat. I gotta go get. A, I gotta go get Taylor. Just borrow that one. I gotta yeah. get Taylor. That one won't fit. You just try it. Here you go. Don't do that. Don't do that, there. baby. Okay, right. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it right here. I'm building relationships. This is our Dr. P segment. Oh my God. Oh, oh, look at her, look at her. Back up. <laughs> okay, look, and look at her in the eyes. Don't say anything to each other, just look at each other in the eyes. You gotta put some little hair that's floating underneath. God, Liv. Imagine her and her moo moo making, making, making spaghetti. With God, her hair, just how it is. Ruby's over there, she's asleep, she played oh. all day. You, you fed her, she walked her, she's, she's good. She's good? Oh. That's your only responsibility right there. Oh, God. Right, right, she's cooking. You grab her by her haunches, you come oh. up behind her, you, oh, you kiss her right there on her cheeks. Oh. Right there on the cheeks. You, you feel the back, Liv's neck is Except soft. I Right, you right there, and then you go, and then you go, damn baby, oh. that looks good. The food, if I find out the food or her, she'll never know. Oh god, try it right now. Can I, can I touch your earlobe in that scenario? Fuck, no, don't no, no, it's too much. Don't be a weirdo. Yeah, don't be. Uh, can't uh, really uh, doing too much. He's like, oh, <laughs> give me your ring. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, try it. Here you go. So I, I, I'm sweating. I'm god, sweating. you're ruining it. Okay, lean forward. I need your haunches. <laughs> watch this. Watch this. <laughs> Lean forward. You're not doing my haunches on screen. Just, my it's a, haunch. it's a love haunch. It's a love haunch. Lean forward. So I come up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no. Okay. It's getting creepy. Sniff. Yeah. Huh? Getting that jojoba oil. Yeah. Then I go. Wait, what was the line? <laughs> Wait, what, what was the line? Damn, baby, that looks good. Damn, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like this. I'm, I'm failing. Hold on, I'm freezing. Here, I got it. I got it. Here go. No <laughs> sniff. No go. sniff. Damn, baby, that was good. <laughs> Why is your voice cracking? I'm laughing. <laughs> you sounded nervous. You said, damn, baby, that looks good. All right, guys. Before, that oh, went a little too extreme. That, that hat so was sorry. so tight on your head. Look at your no, forehead. It's literally a line. Yeah, no. <laughs> your hat doesn't fit me. It's a snapback. It's on the last two. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go to the negative. I, you got to get a prescription. I use a zip tie for snapback. <laughs> Damn, a belt extender for a hat is crazy. Do you have those? <laughs> Probably. Yes. Okay. Amazon. I have a story time for y'all. What is my favorite drink in the world? Diet Coke. Coke. I went back to Austin this weekend. Okay. Mm -hmm. I went to a gas station. Okay. They had canned Diet Cokes. And I said, oh my God, I love Diet Coke. And it's a can from a gas station. I grab it. Feels a little weird. Oh God. Weird to the point where something is not right. And I bought it and I brought it here for you guys. I swear to God, I didn't do anything to this. Some regular Diet Coke, right? Looks like you chewed it. It's, it's a little dented, but that came from transportation. The seal is still on this Diet Coke. Why does it look Feel like it. empty? It is an empty Diet Coke. There is a nothing in that. Grab it. Show live. It it's won't, it like, won't leak. It won't like, do anything. I'm it's scared. like someone drank half of it. You ever go to a gas station, you get a bag of chips, but it's only half a bag of chips? Yeah. It's the same thing with that. I'm seeing. What the fuck? I bought an empty Diet Coke at a gas station. You need to send that to like the National like, Perot Museum. Like you're like, oh, I didn't want to finish this. It's like half filled. But it's Bro, it's really not open anywhere. Let me give it to Ashley. There's no leaks, there's no holes. Are you fucking with us? I thing? swear to God. No, because no, there's got to be like spiders or some shit in here. Here, let me see it. Let me see it. Feel that. Just grab it. Grab it. <laughs> grab it. The, the Coke. <laughs> Dude, it's empty. It's half empty. Did she just squint? Okay. And then I was like, I'm done. I'm done buying 
Diet Cokes from gas stations with cans yeah. because I didn't even know they sold you cans. Exactly. That's why I was excited. That shit was siphoned. It's up. it's half filled, right? David, and so I was like David Blaine Diet Coke. So I go to a different gas station. Oh my god, stop. And they had they had the same Diet Coke in a can, but larger. Oh, the skinny ones? Yes. No way. Full Diet Coke. It's full, right? I look at the top and it's molded. <laughs> look at that. There is mold on the top of this Diet Coke from a gas station down the street. Okay, at least this one's... It's full. Did your mom never tell you to wipe the tops off of the cans because rats piss on them? Right. Like, some people would crack them open and find oh rats. Oh, my No, I God. get it, but there is mold on the top of that First Diet Coke. Off, this is as hard as, like, a steel bar. Exactly. Like a crowbar. What they got and the second thing, I don't know. This ain't no something you can wipe up. Yeah, there's no wiping on. That's, like, yeah. molded this over. This like, diseased. That is mold. I'm gonna show the camera. Oh my god. I feel like y'all are fucking with us. I'm I swear not. to god. I swear to god. Oh. No no more cans from gas stations. Why is she like Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't sometimes Peyton There's like I don't trust him in these situations. I swear to god that was it. There's no joke here. Like I just no, wanted I, to share I, this I, story. Uh, here. <sighs> I want you to open the other one. Oh, should we finally open it? Okay. Yeah, open open the back one. Bro, what would you? It's behind you. It's what would you do bro. if you opened it and something crawled out? Where is it? It's, it's right there, it's under that bag. You. Under that bag, behind you. Under oh. the bag. Oh. All right, we're gonna open this Diet Coke, this faulty Diet Coke that I bought half empty, no, but it, there's it's no. It's literally like a kid like, like grabbed his grandma's Coke and like drank. It half. sounds empty. Like you can. Like flip that other one. Like look, the, the difference. Nah, that that bitch is gonna fuck around, and pop you. That thing is full Diet Coke. You can hear the density in it. This one. So you're gonna drink Dr. Or oh, I'll Coke. never switch my beverages. I love Diet Coke. All right, here we go. I don't trust y'all. Bro, I didn't even make that sound. Oh, <laughs> wait, I need my flashlight. He's there's something in here. I don't trust y'all. Yeah. No, there's nothing in here. The it's just like. Hand is shaking. Yeah, you're. Sh <laughs> because it's my favorite drink, and they. It doesn't even <laughs> smell right. Man, hell give, give no. Me flashlight, give me a flashlight. It. It's nothing wrong, but it's like sticky on the inside. Like it's like it got molded. But my thing is, how do you reshut a can like that? Exactly. Like how the hell? If they probably go camera production and like, you know, like how they seal plastic bags and all that. I feel like I'm in like a. I feel like I'm in like a ghost hunting documentary. All I want to say is, I brought this up to say is Diet Coke. You're my favorite drink, and if you want to sponsor the You Should Know podcast, <laughs> please contact us at You Should Know Studios at gmail.com. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that was a fantastic episode. Oh, so much fun. Fantastic episode. Cam, let's get us out of this here. It's like cracked black pepper. Let's get us out of here, Cam. All right. Thank you so much for coming back. Another fantastic episode. Make sure you show the women some love in the comments. Make sure you show your friend episode 106. It was another fun one. Thank you for coming back. Confuse the casuals. Get your good karma with this week's code. DCF. Diet Coke Faulty. Diet Coke fail. Diet Coke full. Diet Coke forever. Forever. You said you're never switching teams. Oh, yeah. DCF, Diet Coke forever. Leave it everywhere. Leave it on Instagram, TikTok, the full length. Leave it everywhere. Confuse the casuals and get your good karma. DCF, we love you. Everything you need to know is linked in the description below. And remember that we're on the road to 1 million subscribers, so share this podcast with all your friends and family. Let's grow the podcast. Let's keep it going. Uh, summer tour announced soon. The very, date's very soon. supposed to be two weeks ago, but it's out of our control. Here we go. Remember, one out of ten koala bears don't make it over Christmas. Oh, I get it today. There we go. Hello. And I will see you Hello? next time. What's up, baby?